Welcome behind the wheel along with me, the Monday Morning Racer. In the Gearhead Coffee Street Stalker, we are at Texas Motor Speedway, but as you can see, it is not on the oval. We are going left and right today in the Street Stalker. So this is a C-class level race. I was able to enter it. Actually, the first one that I did enter, I didn't realize it was the road course. And I'm glad I had some experience from Project Cars of the road course and was able to run, have a decent race. This is the second race that I've had here, about to go green, and it's being recorded. Let's see how we do. A little bit of a jump there. Now we're green. Oh, oh, they're already jockeying for position up there. I can get down to the inside. We definitely have got to let tires warm up before we can start attacking. Let brakes come to temperature. It's a decent little race around here. Cannot remember how many laps, but it's it's a good number of laps for the little road course. So just want to take it easy. Want to finish well. I am actually a level below a lot of these guys, so finishing well is important for me. And want to do that and. Excited to be able to go left and right in the Street Stalkers. I did not realize iRacing would let you do that. And here I am going left and right in the Street Stalkers. It's pretty fun. You are actually doing some shifting and some hard braking. I don't know. If this happens in real life at all with Street Stalkers, some of the guys who race Street Stalkers are pretty rough and tumble. It'd be interesting to see them go left and right. Throwing these cars around. They don't have the widest tire underneath them, so it, it definitely, you're throwing them around, you're hoping that there's some grip, and sometimes it's not there. See if I can find that rhythm. See if I can catch up with the lead cars. Got through that turn one pretty good right there. See if we can complete the lap and get through everywhere else. Good as well, be smooth here. I feel like a lot of these guys are, if this was a longer race, definitely would start picking guys off because they are so hard on their stuff, you can just see it. And then, here I am not getting the turn one at all, saying they're hard on their stuff. And this guy's going to press the issue somewhere where you probably shouldn't. But one little mistake like that will definitely cost you in road course racing. Have to get back up on the wheel. Do like that interstate batteries look on the street stop. So if this is your first time to the channel, 
definitely enjoy iRacing. Have not been iRacing that long. Started late December, early January. And it's been a lot of fun moving up through the ranks. And I am now in a C-Class, if I'm not mistaken, on the ovals. So moving up there and want to work on the road course side of things. And this worked out to be in a car that I'm familiar with. The braking and the handling and able to go left and right. Uh, but please peruse the channel. Check out what else is on the channel because I actually filmed live racing from local dirt tracks in the Carolinas, asphalt racing, NHRA drag racing, Southeast Gasser Association drag racing. I also have a live show on Thursday nights that is drag racing centric called Between the Slicks. And we talk about everything drag racing from NHRA, Southeast Gassers, Outlaw Drag Racing, you name it. We'll talk about drag racing. And we don't just talk to drivers. No, we talk to crew, crew chiefs, crew members, promoters, car owners, fans, other content creators around drag racing. If it involves drag racing, we will chat them up on Between the Slicks. So we're riding in sixth position right now. And probably because of my yakking and not really focusing in, I've lost a little ground to the Interstate Batteries Street Talker ahead of me. But as I have come to learn in almost every I race I have been in a part of, attrition. Watch out for attrition. Watch out for other guys wrecking other guys and be there to snag a few spots. I really think I can be competitive here though in the future just gaining a little bit more course knowledge and understanding what the car wants to do. I think I can be dangerous here in the future. Looks like we got lap traffic coming up. Always interesting to navigate. A little easier, I think, possibly on road courses than it is the ovals. You definitely have got to, to, to set up your pass at the right place on road courses, though. You don't want to kill your time trying to get by by someone that's much slower. Blinker, blinker. Guy ahead of us. Oh, he got turned around. Might be some retaliation for that later, never know. spot right here. Not navigating traffic as good as I need to. Definitely have lost pace with the other leaders. Maybe they'll have some trouble here in a few moments and I can catch back up.
Oh, he about whipped it right back in front of me. He put the binders on. I'm glad he did that. Most guys would have let it roll. That would not have been good for me. flipping. I don't know how that happened. Barrel rolling down the front stretch right at the start finish line. did move us into fifth, the unfortunate series of events for the Interstate Battery Street Stalker, barrel rolling right there near the start finish line. everywhere. It's, it's always wild on the street stop streets. Somehow we've made it into fourth. Again, attrition. Keep driving. You never know how far you want to get. You got to car on the right. Go left. And the 13 again. He's just overdriving. Overdriving. That'd be smooth. Make sure you're braking straight as possible, especially in these cars. Ten laps to go. Around this bull ring of a road course. Still want to run good laps, but coming down to the wire doesn't look like I've got really anyone that I can pick off for position. Looks like everybody around me is a lap down and kind of out here all by myself on position. So, this will be smooth. Finish the race. Not hit anything. Not get out of control. A little too hot in turn one there. Trying to figure out that braking zone and what's going to work best there. What's going on with that guy? Oh, 
Five laps to go. As long as I can keep it smooth and don't get hit by any lap car, I'll come home with a decent finish for the only the second race of going left and right in the iRacing Street Stop. Specifically for me, the Monday Morning Racer, the Gearhead Coffee Street Stop. By the way, folks, Gearhead Coffee, the coffee for you as a motorsports fan, Gearhead, Motorhead, promo code MMR10, 10% off on fabulous coffee. white flag right now. Been a good race. Been a good race. Sadly, didn't do much passing. Got passed. Matter of fact, as you can see, the next position is about seven seconds ahead of me. of it. Checkered flag. Where Checkered did we flag. place? Let me make sure. Fourth. Fourth place here at this little bull ring of a road course inside Texas Motor Speedway. Well, not too many highlights in this one, honestly. Good smooth race. And we will end it here. Thanks for riding along. Been the Monday. I'm the Monday morning racer. Till next time left, right, on the oval, or at a live race. God bless, and keep the pedal to the metal.